If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to get you guys updated on Madden 22. A lot of stuff going on. We have Legends news, Rookie Premier news, and Superstar MVP news. We have a lot of stuff to go through here. It's going to be an exciting weekend in Mutt, to be quite honest with you guys. And I believe it's Tuesday today. No, it's Monday. No, Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. So, starting Friday, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to go over everything in a second. But starting Friday, it should start becoming a really good Mutt weekend. Definitely exciting. We're getting close to football, too. It's just, it's going to be good, guys. We're also getting closer to school for a lot of people and work and stuff. So, I know that probably sucks, too. But... Nonetheless, guys, before we get into today's video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Likes help the video out tremendously, so make sure you guys are going ahead and doing that. If you guys need coins, head on down below to my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. They have officially launched their website about a day or two ago, so take advantage of that. If you use code PUDA at checkout, you get an additional 15% off, which is a pretty large percentage, depending on the purchase you make. But yeah, if you guys want to be shout out in the Poodle Squad, like the video and comment down below, Poodle Squad. And of course, our shout out today goes to Reckless Gaming YT. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Appreciate you guys. Who comment each and every day now let's start off with the rookie premiere news so a lot of people have been waiting for their rookie premieres and wondering how some people have gotten them first if you want to know how to get them right now without having to wait you kind of go over to ultimate season and by the way it says in the news it's just separate because i know i know people have seen people with uh, gameplays and stuff like how do they get them you go to ultimate season rewards if you get to level 10 you do get a free rookie premiere right here for uh very easy so where did i where the hell did i go All right so level 10 reach level 10 right above me to earn a 86 overall nat rookie premier fantasy pack so that's how people have been getting them a little bit earlier if they're you know for people who are wondering how they got them but otherwise as far as the premier news goes madden did tweet out they will be getting them to us on august 20th so for all you guys who did do rookie premieres or waiting for all your tokens finally the time is here now it kind of sucks they took this long because honestly rookie premieres are usually okay in years past rookie premieres were only good the first few days because they were trash this year they're really good but still, they're only going to be good probably the first month or so, except for Pits. He may last longer, which is why I'm probably going Pits now. But they should have got them just as early as possible. But it is what it is. The 20th is when we'll get them the official uh, official release. So that does mean, guys, if you guys have your 10 tokens, you can go ahead and get your 4 to 5 rookie premieres, which is awesome for you guys if you had those players. So yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it coming out as well. So that'll be the 20th. So that's the first bit of news for today. And that's going to be exciting. We're going to start. It's also good for people who didn't do them. And why is that? Because that means rookie premieres will be hitting the auction block right around the time Superstar MVPs do drop as well. So, well, same day actually. So that does mean that the auction block should be flooded with a bunch of new stuff, which is good for people who are in the market to buy. Reason being specifically, Superstar MVPs should bring the market down a little bit. And then you're going to see rookie premieres pop on the market, which means basically the rookie premieres should come down a little bit as well. So it could be a pretty good day to buy for a lot of people. Moving on from that though, that's rookie premieres. We're done there. Next guys, the legend promo. Legend promo, our, our weekly content. Legends are coming this Saturday. So our first official Legend drop is going to be the day after official release, which is super awesome. I'm super excited to see Legends in the game. So as we stand currently, guys, which is important, know the market and know that Legends should be higher overalls than the players we currently have. So know that the market should be coming down a little bit. So that's important news for a lot of people to know too if you plan on buying a team this weekend or if you're getting the game for launch. But yeah, our best players are now 88s. Expect Legends to probably be in the 89 Okay, so because they're starting it as early as they are, it could be 88s and 89s, but in years past, it's been 89s and 90s to start the year. So this will be an exciting development in Legend Land. Like, I don't know what's going to go on here, but we are getting Legends this Saturday. I'm going to go over in just a second and show you guys what Legends look like here. But first, I'm going to go over Superstar MVPs as well. We are getting Superstar MVPs on Friday, which will be August 20th. Now, it also come out on a Thursday at midnight, which would be the 20th as well, but I'm, it also come out the 20th, which is, you know, during the day, which would be all, uh, the Friday. So we're, we're going to get Superstar MVPs and Legends back to back, which is why it's going to be such a crazy weekend. Now, if you're asking my advice, right, what should I focus on? Coins for Superstar MVP or Legends? That's a tough question. I think Superstar MVPs may be a little bit better. A few of them, not all of them. Like the Master, like the Saquon. The Saquon is going to be probably the best running back in the game. Now, that's simply because he's going to be a card that's going to be 90 overall powered up. He's going to come with abilities and everything else that comes with that Saquon Barkley card. That is my, that's just my personal take on the card. I, I'm a big Saquon Barkley fan. Maybe not all of them, but I know a few of them will be like, you know, meta type cards. But then Legends are going to be good too. Typically, the first Legend drop is going to be eight total players. So know that you're going to get a massive amount of content now. Superstar MVP will be two parts. So it's going to be the first part. Then the second part will probably come like Monday or Tuesday. But then Legends on the Saturday. So we're going to have a full little string of content coming on. So they should keep both prices down in a decent amount. There's going to be a Legend Fantasy bundle. You know, it's going to be a good weekend worth of stuff. 
But overall, it comes down to which legends they actually drop. But with eight legends, you 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 have to imagine at least two of them probably really really good. At least two will be good. At least a few will be usable. Some will probably be trash. Um, but I've had to say you're gonna want a little bit of both. So definitely save your coins up for this weekend. Don't go all out buying base leads right now, which is why I pretty much only bought Aaron Donald. I haven't spent too much money on other base leads because I do know I'm gonna want whatever legends probably drop or any of the superstar MVP players. But let's take you guys over to the Legends to show you guys what we were dealing with last year at launch. Guys, okay, so pretty exciting. We did just get another leak in the game as well. This is the Team Diamond pack animation. So Team Diamond's confirmed. We kind of assume this, guys. Now, this is an important news thing as well because for this reason, Team Diamond typically re requires elites and gold. So if you guys have a lot of elites and gold sitting in your binder, know one of two things. First off, do not sell them for cheap right now. If they're going for like cheap and you're trying to clean out your binder, don't. Because these will have sets per team. There'll be 32 sets per team. So let's say one of the set players is going to be like a, uh, a Titans player, right? The Titans set might require Derrick Henry, so he can go up in price, let's just say. It might require this base tight end um, 76 overall gold on there. And there's not that many of them on the block, so now he's like 6, 7K. Or you can go ahead and start completing the sets for pretty cheap and going towards a Team Diamond Master, which last year was Barry Sanders. And he was the best running back in the game for like a few months. So this is going to be really cool. That is a super cool pack animation. Might be my favorite one actually in the game out of all the ones we've seen. That diamond looks super cool and sharp right there. Yeah, this, is a cool, this is a cool animation. I'm super excited to go ahead and see what's going to come with all of this stuff. But that's about it, guys. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Guys, okay, so last year at launch, these were some of the MV, uh, the legend players that we did get. So Jerome Bettis was one of the few players. Now, this might not be the day one, guys. I'm showing you guys the lowest overalls. These were like the, the ones that would drop. These are the ratings S that you would see that first week or so. So there was, again, not day one. These are just some of the players that we will you saw the first week or two. So Jerome Bettis, 84 speed at running back. He was pretty trash. Gonna be honest with you guys. Like he was a cool gameplay and all, but he was pretty trash. Um, an example of a legend that's not going to be usable, but this year's Madden, he's going to be really, really huge. So it could help a little bit, but he would need better speed than that. Bobby Bell, another example of a guy who wasn't usable off the rip. Merlin Olsen, he was good, but he was a defensive tackle, which most people didn't use last year. Jerry Rice wasn't that great, but this year he would be because of how good his route running would be. He'd potentially be the first receiver in the game with all 90 route running if you get the right track cards on him. Joe Thomas was really good. He was you know, solid left tackle, but he's left tackle, right? So, again, some of these weren't exactly that exciting. Um, but as we move on down, so let's see the next one. So, those are going to be the set pieces, by the way. So, don't pay attention to those. As we go on down, you're going to see a few of the other ones that's going up all the way. We had a few good ones. We did have a few good ones. Um, a lot of low overall cards. So remember, we do get 90s as well. Hold up. Morton Anderson was a kicker. That was one, two again. Trash. He's just a kicker. 88 kick power, of course. He's still going to be the best kicker in the game, probably. But definitely was a depressing card to see as one of the first, you know, first few. Then we got Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson actually was a really good one. Now, he wasn't going to be, he wasn't the fastest in the game. But definitely wasn't something I was expecting. I was kind of hoping that we would, uh, I was hoping there'd be a little bit more speed. But he's still really good because he is going to be a well-rounded corner. He's going to get, he's going to get a good amount of speed. But again, like I said, for an 89 overall, 88 speed at the time right now we already have 90 speed corners we already have the d on 88 so i hope i'm a little bit faster but he was able to pretty much get man zone and he gets hit power again he's just super well around larry allen was a really good one best right guard in the game in this year the trenches matter more and then of course we had um who else did we have we had steve atwater he was pretty good but this year again 86 speed would be too low and last year it honestly kind of was too because remember we were dealing with guys like uh what's his name isaiah simmons so it wasn't exactly as exciting to see an 86 speed corner when we had Isaiah Simmons, 86 speed safety. Sorry, Dan Marino was a really good one in the way last year's game played. So that was exciting. But you guys can see it was pretty. It was pretty mixed and match. Now again, these were like a quarter, like about two to three weeks worth of legends. I'm pretty much shown here. There was a Lawrence Taylor that wasn't week one either. That was like week three or week two. Again, that was an exciting one. But week one, expect there should be like eight legends. You're gonna see a mix of like the Marinos, the Atwaters. Typically, they don't drop the best legends week one. They'll drop good ones. They'll drop usable ones, like good ones for a game, but the big names probably won't drop right, right away because Legends Week is going to do well for them regardless of who they drop. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that, guys. That's pretty much wraps up the video. I mean, we have Superstar MVPs on Friday, which I will make a whole video today going over how to prepare and what to expect for that. This is kind of like my news video going over the Superstar MVPs coming, going over the Legends dropping, as well as the premiere news, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And again, guys, if you want any coins, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle. Guys, you want to stock up. Legends and Superstar MVPs are coming. You're going to want to stock up. When they first drop, it's going to be the cheapest they'll be at times, right? When they first drop, people are going to be spamming low overall cards on the block. Going to be plopping players all over the place. Sometimes that's the best time to snipe them out. And then after a few hours, they'll settle out. 
and then they're going to be expensive you're not going to get any good prices on them or you can get a lot of snipes you may not get the cheapest price stabilized right but if you keep sitting there you may people may be putting them off 50k less so that's the time to watch. You're going to want coins, so stock up. Use code Poodle at checkout, 15% off your order. Subscribe, turn on that noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video to be entered to be shouted out in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.